Christian, believers, pastor worshippers, come here. I want to talk to you. What's your problem? <laughs> this video I'm about to share with you seems funny at the same time, not funny. A man stormed his wife's church. What did he do? Why did he storm the church? Why did he, did he interrupt the church service? Let me tell you. He stormed the church because his wife took a plantain, not just like, uh, I don't know, it's like the, the, it's a bunch of plantain or like one, I don't know how to call it that one, but like it's on the stick, right? She took it to the church to do Thanksgiving or whatsoever to the pastor. And the man stormed the church to retrieve that plantain. Watch the video. Okay. The question again. <clears throat> Christian believers, pastor worshipers, do you guys really, like really use your brain or you just like follow the pastors blindly or like religious or Christianity has clouded your sense of reasoning? Maybe that is the last food in the house. Most of you in your homes, you struggle to feed yourself, but you'll be the one to find something to go to church for Thanksgiving. I'm not saying don't do Thanksgiving. Don't, don't go and contribute in the church, but do it with your right senses. I'm sure that man was thinking, even selling that plantain for some cash to do something else. In the house. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but it is funny how he stormed the church, dragged the plant. And you can see some of the, the woman, one woman was trying to punch him or was throwing hand at him because of the plant. Hey, come on, bro. This is really funny. And I do not understand why some of you, especially women, like you take this church and pastors so serious that you have to deny yourself and your family certain ability or certain right or capability to do something use your brain going to church screaming her will not do anything for you will not build your life but you will go to, the same people will go to church and be pray, praying for money and still have their money and go and pay tight at church and go and contribute at church every single, every blessed day. Churches are opening 24 seven nowadays. Churches has now become a business venture. It is 24 seven operating. They are operating 24 seven. And yet you could see that most churchgoers, worshippers, are the broke people. I'm not saying I'm rich, I'm broke. <laughs> I don't have anything. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not going to be that dumb to go and spend the little that I have to spend on myself. In the church, in the name of, if, if, if I go to the church, I will contribute in my own terms. But hey, <sighs> Bro, this is funny, bro. This is really, really funny. At the same time, it's heartbroken. I don't know. If, if you want to go and give plantain to your pastor in the church, you must consult with your husband. Oh, honey, like today we, we are having like, you are doing Thanksgiving or you are doing like, Something, something in church. Can we share the plantain? I want to carry one of it because I don't have money to go and buy at the market since we have some at home. Okay, take one pieces or two pieces out of the, the bunch of 
planting that we have here so we can have the rest for dinner. No, you carry the entire thing to go and give. <laughs> hey, hey, pastor must be so powerful to you. It's like, I think I need to start a ministry, you know, like open a church and like start a ministry because it will, it will like, that's a no creative business. Bro. People will be dashing you car, will be dashing you money. People can dash you house. <sighs> The miracle working God is still working. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's crazy, but thank you.